We've all heard stories of people performing selfless acts. Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts helping people in need. A volunteer helping out at an animal shelter. A person with a rare blood type donating every month. But are human beings really that selfless? Or do we sometimes need a motivator? Something as payment, something like gratitude maybe, or maybe even a favor in return. And so we come to our two main theories of pro-social behaviors, altruism and the social exchange theory. Hard to understand? No, it's simply psychology. First on Simply Psychology, altruism. Altruism is defined as helping another person with no expectation of personal reward or benefit. A good example of this concept is the Christian parable of the Good Samaritan. Located in the book of Luke in the Christian New Testament, Jesus of Nazareth tells the story of a man who was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho and was robbed. They took everything he had, beat him, and left him for dead. People passing by saw the bloodied man lying on the ground, but did nothing to help him until a Samaritan man walked past. He went to the victim, bandaged him up, and took him to a nearby inn to help him heal and rest. Jesus used this story as a metaphor for how people should behave. To this day, calling someone a good Samaritan means they're a noble person who goes out of their way to help others. Many societies celebrate and instill in their people the ideals of selflessness and humanitarianism as a positive attribute. But if benevolence is such a favorable trait, then what about the times when people ask for something in exchange for their help? Social exchange theory is defined as the ability for two people to cooperate in a way that is beneficial to both people. For example, Janet needs help splitting firewood and asks Dave to help her. Dave agrees to help so long as Janet helps him mow his grass. In this scenario, both parties maintain a balance between costs and benefits. Both people give up something in order to achieve their goals. This system works so long as both parties keep their promises. If one of them cheats and doesn't follow through, then the balance is broken and that person is less likely to be helped in the future. Altruism. The idea that people will help others without expecting any compensation. Social exchange theory. The idea that people will help others, but they benefit as well. Which do you think is more accurate about the human condition? Are we more selfish or selfless? The answer, both. Collectivistic cultures tend to focus more on the welfare of its people, so there's higher rates of altruistic behaviors. Whereas individualistic cultures tend to have higher rates of social exchange. Just depends on the people involved, you know, the society, and the circumstances surrounding both people. The ideas of how do, can I help others versus how does this benefit me are at the fundamental layers of each society. Depends on the people to decide which one is more important. Hard to understand? No. It's simply psychology. Adios, everyone. I just need to slow down. That's my biggest problem, I think, is I need to slow down. I think too fast. I know how Sherlock feels. Only he enunciates better. Did you ever see the behind the scenes stuff of uh, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch when he has to deliver his lines? You're rolling in now, aren't you? Okay, let me try it again. <laughs> 